Ja. Nee. Haal ze even weg! Hairpins. <laughs> We also have hairpins. Nice. I like it. Yeah. And here's the campsite. At the left. Beautiful place. The Rosenhof. That's it. And they should be open. According to the website. Oh, it's very quiet, but that's something I already expected. Camping Rosenhof. Tot 1700. Hier zijn we bereikbaar. Om nummer bla die bla bla. Oké. Okay. So the reception is closed, but there is a phone number which I can call. Yes, I bought a drone. I have seen the last couple of months lots of uh, videos from other people that uh, are fooling around with a drone. And I have to say honestly that uh, such a thing intrigued me quite a lot. So I figured out the, the legal uh, rules and regulations uh, around uh, using a drone and uh, finally I decided to buy one myself. A little bit deserted, 
but not completely. There are people over here at the other side of the building. Some caravans over there, and it's completely open. So, restaurant, shop, shower, and so forth. Everything is here. It's very good. And I'm going to do a tour around the south of Limburg today and going through the Eiffel German forest quite close by and the weather is good, it's dry temperatures are good everything is good it's great Oh, <laughs> airpins. That's a good start. That's a very good start. <laughs> It happens, the Garmin shows me a result that doesn't make any sense. And that's the case uh, here also. It gives me an, uh, an end uh, time of the day of the route that uh, is um, half an hour later instead of uh, taking the full day. So I need to fizzle around a little bit with it, stop it, load it up again, check what happens and then it's solved. Then I can continue the route. Great. The famous thing in the Netherlands is the so-called Drie Landen Punt, or in English, the Three Countries Point. It's a pole in the forest which you can walk around, and uh, if you do that, then you have uh, visited three countries in less than a minute. Well, the pole in itself uh, is something uh, I take for granted, but. There is also there a parking lot with uh, a huge uh, climbing tower which you can climb up and to uh, look around over the uh, surroundings. But if you have a drone, then things become a lot easier. There's a sign over there that warns me for a dangerous road. And uh, well, as an enthusiastic uh, biker, I uh, do like riding bends. And in the German Eiffel, you do, do have a lot of bends and nice roads. And I have to say honestly that uh, there is a little devil on my shoulder that if I do see these kinds of uh, signs that. From, to me it works as a flag on a Red Bull, so uh, I have to admit that uh, here and there I exceed the, the speed limit a little bit. I think it's allowed here 80 kilometers an hour, I'm not sure about it. And here and there I do a little bit higher than that, sorry for that.
patience is a virtue. I do have a little problem there also. Shit. That's pity. And then suddenly, in the blink of an eye, I see another nice uh, spot uh, to launch uh, the drone. Looking at the uh, little villages in uh, valleys in uh, that German Eiffel, looking at it from above is really astonishing. Zeer schön in Aussicht. Steht zeer schön in Aussicht. Very beautiful sightseeing viewpoint. Zeer schön in Aussicht. Genau. So then let's put up a drone. Somewhere in the German Eiffel, and I have uh, again an issue. Well, it's not a very big deal. I've done it a couple of times uh, earlier before already, and that is uh, air bubbles in the clutch, the clutch line. For some reason. Every five, six, seven hundred kilometers, I do have an air bubble in the clutch line, which means that my clutch, well, it has a very long, long angle. Uh, now I fixed it, so now it's uh, the way it should be. 
Fantastic. Also very nice place here. I've uh, put up the drone. Continue riding. And yet another place where I decided to uh, play with the drone a little bit. I'm not completely sure what I like uh, most right now. Riding a bike or doing a drone? Oh, whoops, what do I say now? Oh, 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 oh. Failure. Great. I know that. I know that. Belgium with its very bad roads. It depends a little bit where in Belgium. These are the Ardennes. And a lot of roads in Belgium are very, very, very bad. But the area is beautiful, absolutely, I'm not completely sure where in Belgium I am right now, yeah, the Ardennes, Ardennes, I know that, but where exactly? I can easily find out uh, by looking on uh, Google Maps or something like that, but I don't have uh, the mood uh, to stop right now because uh, the arrival time is estimated on uh, 17 uh, 49 almost uh, six o'clock and I want uh, to reach the camping site on that time and not later. So for now I'm thinking I'm continue with it. way home. I packed everything in the bags this morning. The weather is nice, it's dry, it's a little bit sunny, temperature is good. So I decided this morning to pack up and I need to go home this day because I have other uh, appointments uh, for this evening. So I thought, let's pack up. I can do the inner roads but I've done a very nice ride yesterday and uh, doing that again for, the, for a couple of hours. No, it's uh, enough uh, for now. So I fetched myself a cup of coffee and the uh, sandwich or whatever. Uh, it's not a sandwich. How do you call it? Croissant in French. Nice. See you next time.